All right, Pav, let's make our way to Adelaide. We need to deliver that message from Reed. Looks like if we can get that geothermal plant running, divert all the power back to Edgewater, maybe it'll get those people back. I mean, I understand this place is a big corporate machine with a huge cannery, but I mean, the people on this planet are all they kind of got. As much as it's maybe not the best place to live, a Spaces Choice family is a Spaces Choice family. Let's make our way up there, see what we can find. Try and avoid any trouble, see if there are any mercs around. Maybe avoid a fight or two. Maybe try and sneak about a little bit. We'll see how that goes. We'll leave away. I'm sure we'll get some sort of resolution out of this. Oh, talking about fights. Pav, keep your head down. Ooh, we've got two mercs. Uh, and some bodies. Looks like anyone that leaves a town gets shot pretty much immediately. I mean, they're right outside the gates. Jeez. All right. How do we want to do this? Uh, well, I mean, they are just hooligans. We took them out pretty easily last time. Maybe, if I be a little bit sneaky, maybe I can get the drop on them. I've got Parv now. Don't know how useful she actually is. Oh. Or maybe... Oh! Oh, that worked. That works really well. Note to self, explosives good. Thank you very much. I'll take all that. Where did his body go? Oh, there. <laughs> uh, I mean, this pistol is definitely not everything I need. I could do a lot better. Maybe get a nice rifle. Maybe a sniper. I know I'm good with a sniper rifle. But hey, you know, this pistol's pretty good. Huh? Whoa. What? Oh! Ah, oh, and I thought I was fine. Come on! Down. No. Who else? Who else? Oh, I'm kind of okay. All right. <gasps> oh, it's good stuff. Uh, oh, I feel much better. All right. Next note to self. Keep an eye out. Oh, have you saved my ass? Thanks. Oh, we got some more. Community center. Huh. This place is really worn down. Oh. Oh, that's a rifle. Come on. This pistol doesn't do enough damage. Come on. Oh. All right. Wait, he had a rifle. Is there? Where's the rifle? He had a rifle. What? Anything? Damn it! Oh, that would have been awesome. All right, not far to go now. Botanics lab is here. Oh, we got some bodies, and we've got a Grace. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. Look, I don't want any trouble either. I'm just looking for Adelaide, all right? I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Hey, I'm just looking for Adelaide. I don't need any issue from you, all right? I just need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Look, Reed just said something about former workers living out here in the wilderness. I just want to talk to Adelaide and maybe sort some things out. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're going to start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. All right. Thanks, Grace. I do appreciate that you are now threatening me. I just want to find Adelaide. Over in the hothouse, tending crop. All right. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Wow. This isn't a bad little community, actually. It's kind of nice. Looks a little bit more run down than Edgewater, but... Hey, it's a living, huh? And people are looking at me odd. Okay. Right, this must be Adelaide. Um, hello? 
If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Wow, you're really kind of nice. You're probably the nicest person I've come across recently. You must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobaccorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Ah, uh, I appreciate it, but I'm kind of here for other reasons. Reed sent me. He kind of wants to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Look, Reed's just asked if you may consider coming back to town. He's willing, and I mean he means this, to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Ouch. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Look, if you don't leave, he's already mentioned about diverting the power back over to Edgewater, and he mentioned it's going to come from the Geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Wow, the camp! Well, your camp as a power regulator, and I kind of needed to fix my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Oh, hero, you say? Look, I'm gonna consider it. I'm gonna do whatever's best for this this planet. Even no matter how screwed up it is. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Well, this looks like the place. It looks like it's still running pretty well. Some sort of electric fence and there's something moving over there. Mechanical sentry. Oh. They're gonna be pretty mean, I guarantee. Whoa, what is that? Oh, there's a few. Maybe I should avoid them? Maybe I should just maybe just test my aim out just a little bit. Come on. Come on, get in there. Oh, you're a big boy. Hey, get off. Ah! Okay. Not good. Oh, okay. Really not good. You need to leave me alone. Come on. Pistols. Not doing it. Oh, Pav, you saved me again. I mean, I pumped more bullets into it than you did, but you did a pretty good job. What the hell is this thing? It had a cigarette lighter inside of it. On earth have you been? Oh, you've probably been eating these guys. All right, what have you got? Ooh, assault rifle. Okay, some decent gear here. Oh, all right, new guns. I'll take it. Probably do with some of that. Thank you very much. All right, looks like we're pretty well geared up now. Now we just need to make our way in there somehow. Ah. Uh, Around in here. Well, now's your chance. As long as we can get past these guards. How on earth am I supposed to get through here? Can I get through this window? No. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's useful. Someone tried to break in here before. From the planet to your living room. Geothermal plants. Must be using the volcano that's near. Oh, there's something there. Wow. I have a heavy rifle. I wonder if this will be useful. Look at me. 
Alright, oh, that is not as useful as I thought it would be. I mean, it does a lot of damage, that's for sure, but is it actually going to cope well against these guys? I don't think I've got enough ammo for this. Huh. Any more? I don't know. A little bit worried. Just these. Oh, the drone. There you go. Any more? Oh. Come on. Jeez. Yeah, that's it. We made it. Barely. Looks like they've got a weak spot in their center. Now that is good to know. Nothing in the bin, just a lot of dead scientists, and some loot. Uh, oh, construction mechanical. Alright, we're in. Looks pretty safe. Drone had some energy cells, but I don't actually have anything to use that with. Alright. Let's get going. Alright, Parv. Keep your head down. Oh. Something happened here. I reckon these mechs are probably centuries for this building. It just turns out that maybe they just want a bit haywire. Can I go through here? Yes, I can. Alright. Oh! You're very dead. What's this say? Access files, Burris, copy of Young Space's guide, mechanical engineering. Cool. Um, chaos everywhere, mechanical's gone haywire, as I thought. Gunfire, hearing screams. Oh, I think that's someone's leg. Yeah, I think I've seen enough. I think I know what may have happened here. Bits are always useful. Alright. Here we go. Keep my head down. Try and avoid as many enemies as possible. And might get out of here alive. Okay, you're right there. Oh! Oh! Did not expect that. Everyone all right? All right, melee works. I've actually run out of ammo. Uh, I've got a little bit of ammo. Mainly run out of ammo. Any ammo? No ammo. Ah, oh, damn it! All right. Let's go. No, oh, these must be the generators. Everything looks like it's working pretty well. Oh, hello. Well, this seems pretty simple. Right? Okay. Plant status. Yeah, 22% efficiency. It's been sent to the canner and also to the lab. Structural damage detected. Alright, well, I need a supervisor, but I'm no supervisor. Direct power. Uh, safety failures detected. Moderate to severe structural damage. Irreversible procedure. Need to activate eight free electrical switches. Alright, well, I thought this was pretty easy. Turns out that it's now a chore. Alright, Pav. Let's see what we need to do. That'll be easy enough. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be fine. I swear Reed gave me a code to get in here. I haven't used that yet. Guess we gotta go this way. What is that? A sprat. Looks cute enough. How about... Here. Alright. I guess this door's locked. Unlock door. Enter passcodes. Space and Thompson. Door open. Personal reports. Alright. I'm fiddling around with mechanicals. Here. Hang on. Higgins. Was. Alright. Doesn't sit right. Replacing guards with auto mechanicals. Uh, what's happened? The mechanicals have gone crazy. So did Higgins? Do something? Space's choice. Contingency protocol. Security lockdown has been initiated. Right. So someone was playing with the robots. And from that, some bad stuff happened. Let's pick this. Come on. Oh. Ah. I I could do that. Perfect. New rifle. New gears. And some 
ammunition for this gun. Take that, thank you very much. What about this gun? Nothing. Ah, great. Alright, take what I can, I guess. Make my way inside. And, aha! Some mods. Anything else? Mag packs. Help me hack. Alright. Sneak mode. Activated. Oh! Activate free switches. Take what I can. And just get going. Oh. Oh! Switch right there. Oh, this is not good. There's two of them. I do not have the ammunition for this. Alright, maybe if they move away, I can flip the switch and make it past them. They're pretty stupid. Yep, yeah, they are pretty stupid. And pretty slow. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, oh, is he going to turn around? If we send power to the veil. Yep, yeah, also. Take what I can. Maybe I can get some better weaponry to fight these guys. Oh, not good. Not good! Run, run, run! Oh, no. Hang on. Puff, where are you? No, don't fight! Oh, this is not good. Come on. Oh, Puff, next time, run. Run. That would have been so much easier. I've got no ammo. No ammo. Do you not understand what that means? Ah, I guess I can loot these guys now. Ah, some light ammo. Not enough, though. Not enough at all. Now, was that me, or did I hear someone down there? Not real. You're not real. Higgins. Wait. Higgins? He isn't the guy who... Or maybe he did. That might be the guy that actually destroyed the protocols for the mechs, which made them kill everyone. Can I get down there? It seems to be below me. Let's see if he's got anything to say. Uh, short drop. Ah, no not point real. using ladder. You're not real. Okay. He's getting closer. Let's just hope he doesn't attack. Oh, there he is. A little bit paranoid, maybe. You're not real. You're not real. I'll take that just in case. Ooh. What's that? Okay. Uh. Boo? You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. All right. I did not expect that. <laughs> okay, look. I wasn't trying to startle you. People just don't see me coming. Most people? But I'm the only one left. No. Remember your first rule, Higgins. No arguing. I'm with not the a phantom. See, see, Higgins. This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Ah, uh, look. You're not imagining me. I am very much real. Of course. Do excuse me. I experience brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Ah. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh... Yeah, so what is it you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherweight Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Yeah, I saw from a report you're an engineer, and you like to tinker with mechanicals? I specialize in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, Repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Oh, so if you've worked on these mechanicals, you should know how to stop them, right? Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. Look, you can either help me, or I might just feed you to the things you've been eating. Ironic deaths are the worst. You made your point. I'll help you. Good. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. 
There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Ah, so they run by a behavior module. Look, it looks like you probably tampered with it in the first place. Let's try and fix it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. Damn right. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Ah. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. But also, I'm going to leave because I think you're insane. All right. Let's find that terminal path. See what we can find. Maybe he'll make our time here a little bit easier. Definitely a workshop. Grab all of this. No doubt I'm going to need it. Right. Let's see what we can do. All right. Modify behavior. Let's select a new target, define intruders, and define intruders as space's choice, auto max. Done. Well, that was easy. Huh. Hacking's pretty easy. Am I done? I think we're done. Whoa. What's that? Oh, wait, they're fighting already. So they're fighting each other. So that should make it a lot easier to get around. That means there'll be half as many enemies. Someone's got to win. They're not going to exactly stop fighting each other and say, look, let's have a tea party. Everything's fine. They're probably just going to kill each other. Oh. Mine steam. You're liable to get scalded. Yeah. I'm going to try and avoid that as much as possible. A few enemies in here. Looks like there's two or three. Oh. Oh, he's coming this way. Nearly saw me. Maybe they haven't just joined each other yet. They haven't seen each other, so they're not fighting each other. Oh. Oh, are they fighting? Yes! Alright. This one looked like he was winning. Oh! Oh, damn. I have really not got enough ammo for this. Alright. Uh. Alright, let's do it. Oh, that's not good. Blind. Perfect. Get your mind. Oh, all right. I'm getting all this energy ammo, but none of it is useful. Oh. You literally ended up as dust. This pistol is not sufficient enough. Uh, use that, and then if there we should send be one more. To Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? Yeah, that's what I've been thinking. Oh, is this it? It looks like it is. Done. Nice. I'm not sure what the right is. All I know is the decision's final. Yeah, I've got a lot to think about. Once we do this, there's no going back. I know. I think I've made my decision. Hey, Mister. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? Yeah. I feel like I do, Pav, but I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edwater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edwater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Yeah, and you're right. I mean, all those people deserted the cannery. Edgewater needs those people. And if those people die, or they lose enough, eventually Edgewater's gonna be done. I guess the place will die without the workers and the power. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. Huh. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. But well, the deserters are a community. I can't quite just destroy what they've created. But then again, 
Maybe I can get Adelaide to come home. There must be something I can do. Alright, I see a point. I think I'm ready to make a decision. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Ha. <laughs> Path. I'm glad you did. Sometimes, only occasionally, I like to hear from you. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I... No one's ever told me those words in that order. Okay. Let's make a decision. Retard power. Reversible. Yep, check. Sending to Edgewater. That's the only thing I can do. Maybe I can get the people to come from the lab back to Edgewater. And maybe I can get Adelaide to go too. Oh! Done? Done! Hey! Pop, we did it! I guess we need to go back to the lab and tell them what we did. They are not going to be happy. Adelaide, I did it. You're not going to like what I did. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are, chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? Look, I did it for good reason. Reed needs his people back. If there's no one at the cannery, then essentially the whole community and Jules will eventually die. You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Reed isn't a bad guy. What's happened to you, Adelaide? Where's all this anger come from? My son worked in that camp. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. Wow. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Wow. Didn't think it was that bad there. Look, there must be a way of dealing with Reed. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. I'm happy to speak to Reed. Who knows, might be able to convince him to do something. Maybe to work on a truce, or maybe even just leave. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the Vale bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. Wow. The secret is human corpses. Oh. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer oh. for years. Oh. Water, worker. Don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. I... Uh, okay, that's kind of disgusting. I think I might be able to get him to stand down. Just don't use my body for any sort of grinding, please. I have got a means to cure the plague. And I will not share that cure until Reed leaves town. Those are my terms. All right, enough. I'll go speak to Reed. Jeez. That is one crazy lady.
Guns out, just in case. Who knows? He might have guards. I really don't want to have to shoot him. Do you like this music? You don't look impressed. I like this music. Oh, okay, there's guards. You know, let's just see if we can talk it out. Reed, we need to talk. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Yeah, that's the thing. Me and Adelaide spoke. She's not coming back. Well, not as long as you're here. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. And I know what you've done here, just... Maybe a change in leadership could be good for this town. I'm a Spacer's Choice man. My father was a Spacer's Choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned-up freelancer, but it is my home. Yeah, all right, thanks for the insult. But Adelaide's people aren't getting sick. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. Yeah, and lots of salt tuna, because that's the reason they're getting sick, and you know that. You are disparaging our parent company, and it is not appreciated. We are a Spacer's Choice salt tuna cannery. We eat salt tuna here, and only salt tuna. Yeah, and you know that this is what's making them sick. You need Adelaide's garden. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food, but that should not be possible. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us. So the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. But Adelaide's found a way to grow food. And she'll come back if you step down. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Uh, well, I mean, it's... Uh, it has something to do with... You know what? It's kind of complicated. It's, it's a lot of math. I'm not good at that, but... It just works. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. Yeah, and maybe a few people in this town, but you know, you can change your ways. You don't have to do this. I do. Adelaide's found a cure for the plague, and she knows how to tend to crop. She's what this town needs. Well, I guess it can't be easy for you. I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. All right. I'll let Adelaide know, and maybe I'll see her around. Take care, Reed. Wow. Uh, that went better than expected. Hey, Adelaide. I've got some news. Look at that. The snake's come back. Can you stop calling me a snake? Look, I talked to Reed. He's leaving. And you can come back to Edgewater. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Yeah. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. All right, well, it draws better off with maybe you running the place. I'll take your bribe, but who knows, I may see you again telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater. Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. Uh, I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Well, take care, Adelaide. It was fun. Sorry about all the problems I kind of may have or may not have caused... Don't call me a snake again, please. Oh! Oh, Paragler! Puff, where are you? Hey! I can get off this rock! 
Uh, do you want to come? <laughs>